Hi, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. Today I'm going to continue with my solar tutorial series and today we continue with the schema. What is a schema? And then see uh, the definitions, the locations, the structure, the difference between manage schema and manage schema and add some documents in the UI. Without a further ado, let's go. So if you have heard so many times what about schema in solar, or it's the first time that you are using solar, then you will pay a special attention to this file or configuration file called schema. The schema is the structure that defines the structure. Sorry, the schema is the file that define the structure and the organizations of data. So if you are coming from, of course, if you are a software developer or from IT, you know that in RDBMS, we have something like a table. So take that similarity, the schema is like a table in RDBMS. But the difference between that is that solar is more flexible and can be uh, the schema is more flexible and can be modified at any time without affecting existing data at least in theory and also schema solar schema is designed specifically for search and provide more flexibility and powerful search related feature so that's what we can take this a takeaway that we can set about the, the schema then beyond the theory where is uh, the schema located after we do our installations? So then after we do our installations here, suppose you have installed um, our solar in this directory, and then you have to come here and go to server. In server, we go to solar. And here solar, we have different cores or collections that you have created yours will depend on what you have but for me here i have like these uh, cores if you come to uh, my solar and come here you see that we have like actually two cores here are running text product and test 04 then <coughs> If you go back here, this one, we can get rid of it, not really needed here. So if you open these collections here and come to conf here, you can see there are many files, but among them, we have this manage schema, right? This is the manage schema. This file is called schema. And same things goes if you go to another collections we come again here to configurations here we have this money schema but i have to say one thing here that's very important that um do we no okay we stick with the structure of um, of the schema before going to the next point say what are the main structure of the schema so the main structure of the schema will be something like this one let's go to the website and see uh, the description itself there right if you come to the website here the portal and come to resources yeah and on the resources we go to solar reference and then we come here and we type schema let's search for schema and then we see here the schema elements yeah and then when you open the schema this will the structure of the schema file you will have 
the schema, then you have the type, field type, you have the field, you have the copy field, dynamic field, similarity, unique keys, and so on. And here you have the descriptions of all everything here with some examples. Now, as this one is intended f at first for introductions, I will not go to too many theories, but if you open, like example, this manage file, yeah, you will see the structure, so how it looks like. Huh? If you open it here, You can see you have the schema, you have the unique key, which is like the primary key that we have in RDBMS. You have the field types, field types there. And then if we scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, at this step here, we have some fields. These are the fields like price, titles, jars, categories, autos. And then we have the dynamic field dynamic field and then at the end the copy field so this is the structure of the schema in general then the next point that uh, we talk about here is the schema versus money schema if you notice in all the in some of the old tutorials we'll find online you will see uh, they will refer to the schema and but recently in some tutorial you may see a uh, money schema what is the difference between the two so i published uh, i recently published one article here in my blogs you can come to this smumi blogspot.com and then i see here this was what i wrote here why schema dot xml automatically renamed to money schema so everything is starting like if your solar is from 7.0 going onwards, then you will notice that the default schema file name was changed from a schema dot XML to money schema. And that has been done for many reasons. And then I put like some of those reasons here in this short article but the main thing that you will notice here what i want to make you know is that since solar 7.0 we don't have any more this schema.xml most of solar that you will find will have the money schema and then the money schema what is more powerful about the money or the difference is that in the schema is a static configuration that can only be updated manually. So if you create a first schema and insert some data, and if something is missing, then it cannot be inserted. You will need to go manually at that field before inserting the data. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the money schema is different. We don't need to change um, you don't even need to do you don't need to do anything in the schema the schema is updated dynamically so if you have like initially insert uh, a data with five fields and insert another data with 10 fields then the five extra field will be created for you so yeah and this is uh, some of the things i wrote here i will also put the link to this article so this is what i want to make you yeah, know so as this video is taking longer now i will stop at this stage at this stage and probably in the next video i will show you how you can i will talk more about the schema and show how you add documents in in solar using the admin UI and possibly using also curl yeah i hope that this uh, video has been important to you at least you learn something stay tuned 
and if you have any comment, do not hesitate to drop it. And see you next time. Bye.